it's Jen, and today I wanted to share with you another preggy vlog. It's been quite a while since my last one. I am now 22 weeks pregnant, and according to my pregnancy app, the baby is the size of an American guinea pig or an ear of corn. And it's hard for me to really imagine a whole baby that's like this size. So lately, my symptoms, I'm gonna start off with just saying that the baby is moving so much. I know in my last pregnancy, I was like really kind of shocked at the amount of movement that the baby has. I know some moms, they say, oh, you know, it's just like occasional, I need to count kicks. But for Aria and also this baby, my babies must just be really active. Or maybe they're just really finding the foods and drinks I'm having to be very tasty and they wanna let me know at all times. Also wanted to say, if you guys didn't see our big gender reveal video, I will link that up and in the info box down below in case you wanna see that. It was quite the emotional discovery. For me, it just opens up a whole world of possibilities of how we can start imagining how the baby is going to fit into our lives, like how we're gonna decorate. I love to decorate and I love having themed rooms, so that'll be so much fun. But just also like how things are gonna be so different. I've already probably said too much so if you guys haven't seen that video go over there watch it come back because I'm definitely gonna have some gender spoilers in this video okay gave you a fair warning we're having a boy. So I'm so excited about that. It just makes me think of all of the different things that we're going to have to prepare for him. I have so many girl clothes from having Aria and unfortunately I haven't been able to reuse those. In fact, Ben and I went through a lot of her newborn clothes. It was such a weirdly heartbreaking thing to see these little tiny baby clothes and know that she was that tiny and then to also know that she's never gonna use those again and our next baby isn't going to use them either. Either. We had so many memories of her little girly things and not to say oh you know you can't dress your boy in girl clothes. There are a few things that are maybe a little not quite as gender neutral but we just really like them that we're definitely going to just put him in anyway but it is kind of this emotional upheaval going through her old baby things. You know having a newborn that's so tiny and I can't believe we're gonna go through that again but have it be such a different experience with having it be a boy this time. But we're so, so excited. I will say, I don't know if this is because of the gender difference, but it's hard not to attribute the differences with this pregnancy and the last one to them being different genders. At this point in time with Aria, I feel like my face breakouts were sort of starting to chill out and I was starting to have really bad body breakouts. I will say I've kept the body acne at bay. I've just been exfoliating more and trying to not have a lot of dairy during this pregnancy. The last pregnancy I was eating ice cream like every day. It was kind of extreme because I realized I was no longer lactose intolerant. This time even if I'm not lactose intolerant, I'm trying to really minimize my dairy consumption because I feel like that is is really aggravating my acne and hormonal balance. Hopefully that's why I'm not like super crazy breakouts all over, but I still have these cystic things all over my chin. I'm really hoping that's going to kind of go away because According to the apps, the baby's pancreas is going to take on some more of the hormonal load. So come on, baby's pancreas, help mama's skin out a little bit, please. <laughs> Another thing I noticed, and maybe I just don't have a really great memory of when things popped up, but I feel like with Aria, I already started having the linea nigra, which is the line that you get down the center of your stomach and the darker armpits. I don't really have that yet with this pregnancy. Maybe I'm hoping the pigmentation just won't be as severe this time as with Aria, but I don't actually know yet. I know the majority of that for me happened last time in third trimester, so that's still to come. In terms of cravings, this was actually something pretty surprising to me. I'm not craving things as much as I did my last pregnancy. I definitely had a lot stronger, crazier cravings, especially for really, really sour candy. Really wanted ice cream, a lot of things that are really bad 
bad for me. <laughs> and then this pregnancy, I've noticed I don't like things to be overly sweet, but one of my favorite things is to take lemonade and then cut it by half with water. So just like really diluted lemonade with a lot of ice has been my jam. Could drink that all day. So I still like sour things. I still like spicy things. So my cravings just really haven't been that crazy this time, which is nice in a way because I can eat more things and not get super upset about it. You guys who have had a baby before might know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Haven't had any crying episodes because I couldn't get what I was craving. And not quite as many bizarre cravings from like 20 years ago that randomly pop into my head. Nothing like that. So overall, I feel like food and drink wise, things have been pretty normal. I have still been exhausted on and off. Sometimes I'll feel almost totally normal and then the next day I will just be like, whoa, I really overdid it. If I get a cleaning kick, I can vacuum the whole room and feel great. It's just the next day I'm like, oh, I'm having some hip pains. I probably shouldn't have done it so much. But a lot of that is just sort of learning my new balance. And speaking of that, I will say probably because of the extra blood that's pumping through my body and being created. If I get up too fast from laying down or sitting, I tend to get pretty lightheaded. So it is another thing of just having to learn like, okay, if I've been sitting for a while or laying down, I have to sit for a few seconds before I stand up so that I don't start to faint. But nothing where I'm like totally passed out falling over or anything. I have to kind of catch myself to make sure my blood is displaced okay. I went to Disneyland for a couple of events and I have been fairly impressed with myself being able to like walk around the park and everything but I do have to take more breaks sitting on benches feeling really out of breath in between getting from place to place and if I walk too much I would say with my pelvic floor muscles they just get really fatigued and sore. I probably say it in like not a very glamorous way I'll just be like Ben my vagina hurts. It just feels like really heavy and not having enough time to recover so I'm kind of wondering if I should bust out my belly support band a little bit earlier this pregnancy because I just don't remember that happening as much my last pregnancy. I think it's because my muscles are already sort of stretched out so having the extra support would put less pressure down there. I just feel like my stomach is bigger at this stage than it was my last pregnancy but I don't know again it could just all be in my head. People who see me often tell me that my bump doesn't look very big and I'm like are you crazy? I feel like a whale. <laughs> With Aria in my third trimester, I was like, you second trimester summer child, you thought you felt like a whale then, you just wait. I know that's in the back of my head. I still have many more months to grow from here, which is both exciting and frightening. So speaking of my stomach, let me show you guys what I'm working with now. So this is the status of my stomach. I know a lot of people say that when you have a boy versus a girl, the stomach shape is different. Like I think people say with a girl you carry higher, with a boy it's lower. I don't know. I feel like my stomach is like kind of the same as last time. <laughs> it doesn't look particularly low to me. It's interesting when I look at my belly button, it's starting to get a lot more flatter, which is like a little bit of a bizarre thing. <sighs> and I'm out of breath. <laughs> I wanna say I'm like really enjoying having a little break in the second trimester, having it not be quite as intense as first trimester. I also feel like in terms of preggy brain, where you like are kind of foggy and can't remember things as well, it is existing. I can't remember a lot of short-term things like long sentences to repeat right away, but overall, it's not that bad. It's much less than when I was pregnant with Aria. So hopefully that means things will continue to go on really well knock on wood. One thing I forgot to mention before, my nasal congestion that I had really bad in first trimester is much improved now. So I've been sleeping with my snoogle, which is the big C-shaped pregnancy pillow. And before I had to stack a bunch of pillows underneath the actual snoogle, so it would elevate my head so that I wouldn't just have like post nasal drip. But now I've been good just like laying on the snoogle like a normal pillow, which has been amazing. 
working, I am starting to have more of the pressure. If I lay down on my back, the weight of my stomach feels pretty uncomfortable. Even if I have the pillow under my knees, I still try not to fall asleep that way. I know it can put pressure on certain veins and like not be good for you to lay in that position long term once your stomach starts to get a little bit bigger. But for the most part, I think the most comfortable thing is just laying on my left side. So that's what I've been doing. And otherwise, I think things have just been a lot better. So I am really happy to say that. Still trying to sleep as much as possible. So thank goodness to Ben who has been taking care of Arya in the morning so that I can sleep in a little bit. I've been a lot more happier, been able to go out and do things a little bit more and feel like a little bit more like myself, which is fantastic. So that is about it for this preggy vlog. I really hope you guys enjoyed my updates. And if you're watching, let me know in the comments, like, are you pregnant right now? Have you been pregnant in the past? Are you just watching because you want to? I would love to know in the comments. Give this video a thumbs up if you're enjoying following along and subscribe to this channel to see more of my videos. I love you guys and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.